Hello, in today's video, I'll show you how to charge the Samsung tablet battery with the bench power supply. You can also charge iPhone and Samsung Galaxy batteries with it. Here I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. It's a 10-inch one. Unfortunately, it's got a bad charging port. And therefore, I cannot charge the battery with the USB cable. And looks like the battery is fully drained too. At this point, there's no way for me to turn it on because I cannot charge the battery with the cable. I guess the only way to find out if the tablet is working or not is that I have to charge the battery with my power supply. And then I can try to power it up. Here I have disconnected the battery cable from the motherboard and I see a plus and minus indication on the connector. Very kind. But before we go ahead and charge the battery, let me check the voltage on the battery. Multimeter in DC voltage mode and plus to the plus pin, minus to the minus pin. Let me see. Okay, it only gives me about 2.7 volts, which is pretty low in this case. This battery is supposed to provide 4.35 volts for normal operation, but obviously it is low. Okay, let's charge the battery. Before we start charging the battery, let's set the maximum amps on the bench power supply. On mine, I can lower the voltage all the way down, then increase the M just a bit. After that, if I short these plus and minus, it shows the current amps and I am able to set the maximum amp. That is how to set the maximum amps on my bench power supply. And I believe that your power supply has the same way of setting the maximum amps just like mine does. But to make sure, you read the manuals first and then do it. Typically, you can charge the batteries like this one from 500 milliamps to maximum 2 amps. More amps mean faster charging, but do not increase the amps like crazy, because it may damage the battery. Do not go over 2 amps for the small electronic devices like this one. The slow charging is always safe and good for the battery. I am setting my maximum amp to about 1 amp. Set the voltage to 4.3 because that's the maximum voltage of my battery. Now we are reading 1.4 amps, which is okay and I think it will be considered as a fast charging. And the voltage that you see now is the voltage of the battery. And as you charge the battery, the voltage will increase to its maximum voltage, which is rated at 4.35 volt. As the voltage increases, the amp will decrease at the same time. When the amp indicator reaches zero, that means this battery is fully charged. But the minimum voltage to power up the tablet is 3.8 volt. So I'll try to power it up when the voltage reaches about 3.8. All right, as you see, the battery gained some power and it is now turning on. That's it. That is how to charge the battery using a bench power supply. When you are not able to charge a phone battery or a tablet battery, you can also charge the batteries in this way. But if you are not familiar with electronics and have no confidence in what you are doing, please do not try this at all. Because even a small mistake will result a fire and in worst scenario, you can be electrocuted. Try this at your own risk. That was the video on how to charge a battery using a bench power supply and thank you for watching.